What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to write a rule for g of x given f of x, right? So here we're uh, with this first problem, we're given f of x is equal to x to the fourth plus one. And our function for g of x is that g of x is equal to f of x plus two. Okay, so here we just wanna write a new function for g of x. And the way that we're gonna set it up is by setting it up with f of x plus two. So here, instead of f of x, we're going to have f of x plus two, right? So notice up here where we just have an x in the parentheses, we just plugged in an x into our equation, our function, right? Here we have an x plus two. So that's what we're gonna plug in to our function this time. So this is gonna be equal to x plus two to the fourth power plus one. Okay, so our new equation for g of x is that g of x is equal to x plus two raised to the fourth plus one. So this would be our answer right there. All right, here we're given that f of x is equal to x to the fifth minus two x plus three, and g of x is equal to three f of x, or in other words, three times f of x, all right? So that's how we're gonna replace f of x over here. So instead of f of x, we have three times f of x. All right, so we're gonna multiply three by whatever f of x is, and f of x is just this trinomial right here, right? So three f of x is going to be equal to three times this guy up here, x squared, or sorry, x to the fifth minus two x plus three, and so this is gonna be equal to three x to the fifth minus, and I'm just distributing, right? Uh, and then the next one would be three times negative two x, which is negative six x, and then three times three is positive nine. Okay, so this is our new g of x function. All right, last one here. So this is f of x is equal to x to the fourth plus x cubed plus one, and g of x is equal to f of negative x minus five. All right, so for g of x, we wanna replace our f of x with f of negative x, right? So instead of just f of x, we're going to have f of negative x, and we also have this minus five right here, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is, well, as you can see up here, this is a positive x, right? So that's why we plugged in positive x's right there originally, but here we have negative x's. So we're gonna plug in negative x's for these guys this time. So here we're going to have negative x to the fourth plus uh, negative x cubed, plus one, and then you see we have this minus five, right? So we're just gonna tack that on at the very end with our other constant over here. So uh, we're just gonna put minus five like that. Okay, so now we can simplify this. Uh, so remember this is g of x, right? So we're gonna say that g of x is equal to, now whenever you have an, a negative variable raised to an even power, right? Two, four, six, eight, 10, whatever. Uh, that turns this positive. So negative x to the fourth is the same thing as positive x to the fourth when you simplify it, right? And then here we have uh, negative x raised to an odd power. So then this stays negative, right? So it stays as negative x cubed, right? So minus x cubed. And then here uh, one minus five is equal to negative four. So we just have a minus four right there there. So this is our g of x for this problem. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.